back with another video. Um, a week late. I'm sorry for the week absence to whoever cares. I know there's not much of you out there, but I hope there's going to be more, and I should be posting way more often. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So let's get started. I'm going to be showing you guys the safest location to build a base in the forest. It's really easy to find. Anybody who's anybody in the forest knows where the tip of the plane is. And if you don't, you can check it out online. Um, online there's a map, so you could find the forest map. And uh, you could check out where the tip of the plane is. But basically, I'm going to show you guys from the tip of the plane where it's at, because it's pretty close to the tip of the plane. So here's the tip of the plane. What you want to do is, from here, you want to walk this way. Turn right and go through that opening and follow the river. So we're going to have to swim across here. I'm going to fast forward. Okay, we're across. So here's here you can see there's the tip of the plane. We just came from over there. We swam across. Now what you want to do is you want to follow the water. And I'm telling you guys, give this place a try. If you're sick of being attacked at your base, you're getting no time to build because... The cannibals just keep showing up. Try out this base. I ran across it, and I came up with the idea that I just needed two wooden walls to completely secure myself in because it's at a cliff edge. And the cannibals can't jump up cliffs, and they can't jump down cliffs that are too uh, down too far. So you just keep following the water. You just keep going straight. And then once we get there, I'm going to show you how it looks when it's not built on. Then I'll show you my actual base on my uh, save file. I'm at day 52, and I'm altogether in my head, I can only count four different occasions where I've been attacked at my base. And only one time it was with Armsy, and she was trying to break my wall. But I'm not bothered at this base at all. It gets boring sometimes. You don't even need to put traps up. All right, swim across here. Once you hit this ending right here where the where the river ends and then the coast begins on the other side, you're going to swim across here and go up this hill. Now, you see that cliff edge right there? That's where the base, my base, where I believe the safest location on this map is. I do not get bothered. When I'm at my base, I can look down. I'll see them walking down here, but they don't even see you. They don't even pay attention to you when you're up there. I don't know what it is about this spot, but it's fucking great and amazing so that's a, on my on my safe file I have a tree file a uh, tree house right there so here it is bam so you see they can't jump down this if they're up there they cannot jump down here if they're down there they cannot climb up here and all you need to do when you get here and there's a surplus of trees going that way over there so you come over here you build a wall from here to here. Bam. You go on the other side. And you build a wall from about here to here. You don't need to build a wall along the edge because they can't jump up here. They can't get up here. I did anyway towards the end. Or not towards the end, but when I went further along in my record, I was bored. And I wanted to make my place look nicer. So I did build a stone wall anyway, just to complete the wall. But it's not necessary. I survived without the wall for a very long time before I was able to put it up. But yeah, basically, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what my base looks, at, looks like on day 56. And I never get bothered. So here we go. Oh yeah, not to mention, there's a surplus of game hunting game out here Th these pigs they just show up randomly here at the base you don't even need to go hunting it's ridiculous the trees crazy amount of trees you'll never need to go very far unless you chop everything down and once you do you're gonna already have like a crazy base if you chopped all these trees down and another thing is the safety like I said before you are safe here it's completely safe and it's uh, it's in the northeast corner of the map if that helps, I just showed you guys how to get here from the tip of the plane. I was going to show you guys how to get here from the from the actual plane itself, but for some reason, every time I load up the game, um, 
it the plane turns or it's in a different spot i guess i don't know i thought that was all rumors but it is because i did it three four times and it was fine and then when i started recording it was a complete different direction so here i'm going to show you guys look at these trees it's amazing it goes on and on and on and on and then there's some across the way there too all you need is a nice amount of uh, log sleds and you're good rocks surplus no problem You'll be filled with stones. You'll be filled with logs. Sticks, as you can see, they, they go. They go for a long time. Right down that way, too, you can find crocs for armor. You don't really need traps, but if you have fun just building traps, you can build traps all in these trees and outside your base. I also have a, uh, I have two walls. Not only the wall that's protecting my base, but outside that wall, I have a log sled fence. And it's pretty much barricaded in the front. So... If you guys want to see that base, here we go right now. Three, two, one, boom. And there we have it, ninjas. My base. Check this out. See, now, what I did was, when I first got here, I built a wall on this side, just like I told you guys. Build a wall on this side. Don't worry about that stone wall. I only put that up for decoration. You don't even need that. And then you put one up on this side, and you're secure. They cannot get up this edge. They can't do it. I put this wall up just for looks, just to close off the base. I felt like it was too open on the side. And I want to show you guys up here, too. This is my little cabin that I built way too high for no reason. Got a little fireplace going here. Got fire. Got my little head trophy. A couple of weapons. Some skulls. I got snack bar. All your soda and your snacks. So, yeah. This is my base one... Um, after I've built on it. I'm on day 56, not 52. I think I said 52 earlier. And as you can see, look at these pigs. They just come running through here. There's so much food, so much stone, so much wood, so much everything. You don't need anything while you're here. Got my water collectors. You can see how much food I have. It's ridiculous. I can't even eat it all. Look at this. A lot of food, fish, everything. Got got my little bushes growing my aloe vera and i was had I, I did have berry bushes before but for some reason right now he's just planting a lot of aloe this little cabin i built for fun too never really did much with it got a little bone collector and a little arrow collector basket here also have another little snack bar down here medication bar which i'm going to build in the main cabin as well got my little stick holders rock holders Oops. Put those over there. So what I do every day is I'll just when I when I start the day off, I'll empty my pockets here with the sticks and the and um, the stones and stuff, and I'd head out on my adventure. And I have more log. These things are actually way better to hold logs in. They hold a lot more. Um, they're kind of big and bulky, but they do hold a lot more. And I got this door. Right. Show you guys what I did right here. Right here, you see, there's another second layer wall here. Which is barricades, and then also my log sled fence. Ooh, I'm trying to get up the rock. There you go. Huh. That was weird. That's how it looks from the front. As you just doing like a little crib version of my base here, real quick. Even though this is the safest base video, it's not a cribs video. It's the safest base video. Got a little treehouse up there. Hairy looking treehouse. I built trap that never catches anything. Then I was just having fun and I built some traps, even though I never get attacked. I'd have to lead them here for that to work. And it's, uh, I guess, whatever direction works. I want to show you guys what's over here. It's perfect place for hunting, right? Not even very far. You can see I chopped down trees over here. Chopped down a lot of trees over here. And there's still plenty to be had. Plenty to be had, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, look, sticks, stones, uh, animals to eat, trees, logs, bunnies, lizards. They even got crocs over here, which I mentioned earlier. They got, um, they'll just randomly come up and attack you while you're trying to chop down trees and stuff. Got my little hunting base here, which I'm going to expand because there's just stuff every, look, another one. There's just trees and stuff to get and stuff to have to be had all around 
I'm gonna finish that. It's gonna be a little watchtower. I'm gonna connect the trees. That thing cannot. My, that house cannot be connected, though. Unfortunately, they don't have a way to connect the bridge to a house. At least I don't think they do. But yeah, this is it, and it's wonderful. It's almost boring sometimes. You don't get attacked. While I'm out here, sometimes they'll show up, especially at night. Oh, I thought that was one. I do need some deer skin, so let's just have a little fun right now. Let's grab this. Oh, it's not letting me light it. Maybe if I shoot one. Now will it work? Yes. This thing kills deer so fast. It's ridiculous. Let's see if I can find that little... Oh, Mr. Deer, where are you? Come here, I got a little gift for you. Damn it, I needed the skin. I knew I should have shot that arrow somewhere else. Dang it, where'd it go? Where is it? Stupid deer ran away, got away from me. Anyway, we'll call it there. Hope you guys like this video. And I'm telling you, if you're a forest player and you play the forest and you have a hard time building a base because you constantly get attacked and you don't know where to start and where to end, try this base out. You will not regret it. You know, I hear footsteps and stuff. You will not regret it. It's proven. It's tested. I've been here for 56 days in the game. Only been attacked about four times. So again, if you guys like that video, please hit, chop that like button and subscribe to become a ninja. And until next time, game on, ninjas.